Hello, my name is Jim Bemister and I'm a respiratory therapist. Today I want to discuss indirect laryngoscopy with a hyperangulated video laryngoscope. Most people will be more familiar with the direct laryngoscopy using the traditional laryngoscope. This is done with only the operator getting a view of the airway access. So here are the items that are going to be used for direct laryngoscopy. The uh, laryngoscope with a Macintosh and a Miller blade, the Yonkar suction, the end tidal CO2 detector, a malleable stylet, and the endotracheal tube with the syringe for the inflation of the cuff. Then above that is the King tube superglottic rescue with the King tube uh, syringe. With the hyperangulated video laryngoscope, the equipment has been updated and allows for a more team-based approach to securing the airway. In this picture are the items used in indirect laryngoscopy, including the eye gel rescue superglottic device, the glidoscope hyperangulated video laryngoscope, the end tidal CO2 monitor, the viral filter, the decanto suction, the glide right stylet, and the new endotracheal tube that's marked with black lines to show the correct depth. Here is the uh, older endotracheal tube with the malleable stylet inserted and the bend put into the bottom portion of the endotracheal tube for use during direct laryngoscopy. Here is the uh, new endotracheal tube with the high angle glide right stylet inserted into it in preparation for intubation. Once the glottic view is obtained, with one person using both hands to obtain the best view of the glottic opening, the second person can use both their hands to manipulate the endotracheal tube with the rigid stylet to align the tube tip for insertion. Upon placing the tube, the proper depth can be confirmed using the black lines on the tube. One in and one out. At that point, the waveform CO2 monitor can be connected and the ventilation adjusted accordingly.